Hello seekers, welcome to another episode on Puneet's astrology. A retrograde and combust Mercury. This can be very difficult uh, for all of us because Buddha represents the knowledge. It represents the data, the information. And without right amount of information, we won't be able to actually do anything in this world. The five sensory organs basically captures the data and the information from the surroundings and it supplies that information to the brain which maps the reality which in turn constructs the mind so that is why mind and intellect go hand in hand that is why in shastra you will see that buddh is also the santan the child of moon the mind so basically your own mind creates this reality on the basis of the data and then whatever the data uh, mind gets and after it creates a reality then comes the experience which is basically the domain of of moon but buddh is that information without which there is no reality you go in a room and you switch off the light there is no optical data there is no reality all you see is darkness and what is darkness it is a kind of construct when there is no data and nothing can be created out of that information or i will say absence of information that darkness of the room and that absence of construct that absence of cognizance of anything and absence of reality is what you can say is retrograde and combust mercury this is exactly what we all will experience from 21st of april and you will see that from 21st of april onwards till mid of may this retrograde and combust mercury along with the other planetary alignments that happens around this retrograde and combust buddha will actually affect our life in a great way and lot of us will lose the track and the soul's purpose and we need external external influence and this retrograde and combust mercury will also play a vital role in absorbing the information given by jupiter when it enters the aries zodiac sign aries is a zodiac sign of the head of kalpurush it is the beginning it is the it is a time when everything starts it is the desire to exist and when there is a retrograde and combust buddha there it starts questioning your own existence and you might start questioning your existence wherever you are and this effect will not begin at the time of retrogression this effect will begin before that because there is an eclipse happening in aries there is a jupiter transit there is a there is a parivartana yoga an exchange happening between mercury and mars which we cannot ignore because this parivartana yoga affects gemini and mars also has an indirect connect with aries thereby powering both mars and mercury and somehow combining them people who have muscle related issue people who have uh, uh, you know issues related to nerve disorders should be very careful during this time people with anxiety and people who are prone to prone to some reactive instances that the body produces or the mind produces at emotional triggers or psychological triggers should be careful during this time because this retrograde and combust mercury only means that the data is corrupt and the reality is absent that means there is no future there is no path forward and i'm not saying that saying that it is a completely blank thing you might just go into the room and there is no light there is darkness all you have to do is switch on the light or come out of the room but that decision of either switching on the light that means taking the help of an external source or using another planet to solve the issues created by buddha or ignoring or dodging the situation altogether is the role of jyotisha that means you will have to take the help of these small videos that is available on youtube maybe a consultation maybe a, a connection with a friend or a family member a guidance coming from a guru that will act as an external source because all of us are in the same boat 
this transit affects every living being, every living creature and all of us, including me, you, everybody. Which means that you will have to be very clear on what message you want to convey and still don't be hopeful that the message will be delayed properly, delivered properly. Now, this retrograde and combustion has some unique significance because there is a Jupiter, Sun and Rahu placement. Now, this Jupiter, Sun and Rahu, I have talked a lot about this. It's already in the channel and in my Sadgamaya channel. The link of two channels will be in the description box below. So if you want to check those videos, you can check that. But this Buddha will give you data related to those kind of energies. If the data itself is corrupt or you are unable to process the data, this means that the experience you are getting from Jupiter, Sun and Rahu, you might misunderstand and that misunderstanding will create a different reality. Imagine an artificial intelligence. Whatever data you give to that artificial intelligence, it is going to create a construct out of that data. We all see that there is so much of artificial photography. We give data to the AI engine and the AI engine delivers a picture. That picture somehow closely resembles the reality, right? That is artificial reality. You can somehow relate to that. Now give wrong data. Whatever reality will be given by that engine will not confirm with the actual reality. And once you figure out, by the time you will figure out that your reality and the actual reality are different, it would have already translated into karma and karma have consequences. That means if you are not sure, don't do it. If you are, if you want help, seek help. If you are feeling anxious, if you are feeling depressed, don't take a day more, talk to a psychologist, talk to a person who can listen to you, who can help you. Because this retrograde mercury and combust mercury will make things go around and round and round and will give incomplete information. And the information will come in parts which is going to frustrate you and irritate you. Especially Aries, Leo and Sagittarius zodiac sign will feel more frustrated, especially if you're Aries, Leo and Sagittarius moon sign because you are Pitta. That means you are fire element. Anyone who have, and now this is irrespective of ascendant, anyone who has Pitta dosh in the body should be careful about their agitation, their anxiety, their response, their neural response. The brain might just run and make you think 10,000 different things. A retrograde mercury may also mean that your mind is totally focused in finishing a particular task and you are so engrossed in that task that you have lost your contact with anything else and you only want to do that and nothing else. Especially if you are Gemini and Virgo, Ascendant and Moon sign, this will happen. But this is good. By this way, you can do a great reset. Now, sometimes less information is good for you. Sometimes not getting that information and having that information kept away from you is actually right for you. So if you are overwhelmed by your life right now, if you feel that you cannot take it anymore, this is the time to take a rest. This is the time to take a break. This is the time to simply be quiet and shut down. Use this retrograde and combust mercury to recover because Mars, which is in Parivartan Yoga with Mercury, is in Punarvasu Nakshatra. So it can establish a new life. It can be a new start, although from scratch. It can be a time when your resources will not be with you, but still you will be able to manage. Now totally on the mindset. Now this is the time when mindset will uh, play a very vital role. Because if your mindset is not correct, then you will take it negatively. If you are a person who believes that everything that comes to you, if you, if you trust everything blindly, then there will be a lot of problems in your case. Because you really can't trust the retrograde and combust mercury's data that comes to you through sensory organs. Now, Jupiter enters Aries, Mars goes in Punarvasu, Sun crosses Rahu. All this happens, uh, you know, in the first 20 days. Also, Mars becomes debilitated on 10th of May because Mars will enter Karkarashi 
on 10th of May, the day when Mercury goes out of combustion. Now coming to the, from the psychological part, if you come to the uh, part of learning and education, students will face greater problems during this time, especially if you are a student or if you are a, even a student of PhD or if you are a academic, if you are into say MBAs and higher education, if you want to go for you know advanced studies, still you are a student, you will see that you might have issues with memory, you might have issues with focusing on a certain task and people who find it difficult to focus on one particular task, this retrograde and combust mercury might trouble you more. So be very careful. This is the time that if you if you can leave everything behind and focus only on one task and take it that wholeheartedly, even when you have uh, attention issues, still if you're trying, that is the right way. Because if you try 10 different things, nothing will be completed. The best way is to focus only on one task. But it should not be a task that is irrelevant. That means, say, if there is a student who, want, who has a maths examination, mathematics examination, he is completely focused in learning physics. But what about mathematics? That means your focus and your dedication should also have a direction. That direction will be missing. And the information given by Jupiter, the fight of Sun and Rahu will be misinterpreted by this Mercury, which means you will be also under influence, which also means that if you are taking help, you should know whose help you are taking. Will that help really help you or the other person will take an advantage? Now, because of all these confusion and because of all these uh, lack of trust of data, trust on the data that is given to you, the best way to handle this transit is if you can postpone anything, postpone it. If it can be changed, if it can be shifted to a later date, shift it. Because a lot is happening on Aries zodiac sign and if you are an Aries ascendant, Aries moon sign native, if you have majority of planets or at least some planets in Aries zodiac sign, that area of life will overwhelm you and you won't be able to think anything else. Your entire life will somehow revolve around that area. Say Sagittarius ascendant. If someone is Sagittarius ascendant or moon sign, their fifth house will have Aries. So the stomach related issues or child related issues or your expression related issues will cause so much of trouble in your life that your entire life will, the entire time and duration will be spent in solving the matters related to that and you won't be able to think anything else and you will be combusted by that energy. You know, combustion means somebody is overwhelming you because that is what combustion, sun overwhelms another planet. It goes out of line of sight. You don't know what happening, what's happening. And if something is happening in the background, you have no idea. The assumption of weakness comes exactly from this. The weakness of the planet is because the mind is unable to construct the reality. So if you're a student, you will have to be very focused. You will have to constantly take self tests and you will have to focus on remembering things by writing. You will have to use all your senses that has to come together to focus on the task. People who are expecting a result should be careful. People who are expecting, especially if you are into science, if you are into science, if you are into technology, if you are into big things, niche skills, you will have to be very careful. For businesses, this is going to be a negative time. Because usually whenever Mercury goes retrograde and combust together, and if the dispositor is somehow not that great in, in, in a great position, or if it is a weak dispositor, then the businesses takes a hit. But if you are completely focused on recovering the business, because now mind Mars is in Punarvasu, never take retrograde and combust Mercury alone. You will always have to bring other planets into equation. So you will have to try to focus only on recovery, only on rehabilitation. But if your business is already running smoothly and no recovery is needed, only try to maintain that position. Do not start anything new at least not in, for this duration. So there is recovery, but there is no re something that is uh, something that is new. Something can restart for sure. So if you want to close down something, like if you want to close down a shop, rework on it and restart, that's possible. 
But if there is already running business and going in profit, that may see a backward trend. But don't get panicked. These things can, these things do happen. A retrograde mercury and combust mercury is a very common phenomena. What will you do? It will happen three to four times a year. So it is best to be aware of the situation and try to dodge these transits uh, so that it doesn't affect your business directly. The retrograde mercury and combust will also see the banking sector, the debt sector, the sector that is related to real estate, construction, uh, something that is related to information processing, IT industry, BPO, ITES. So anything that has to do with transaction of money, currency, basically the entire field of commerce somehow comes under the domain of Mercury. And this entirety will, will have to bring in reforms. Recovery will happen, but you might not see good, tremendous amount of profit. Now this I'm talking in general. It has nothing to do with your horoscope. Uh, the real effect will come according to the position of Buddha in your chart. Say if Buddha is your 6th, 8th and 12th Lord and there is a retrograde combust Mercury, it is going to draw your attention away from the positive houses and to the negative houses so that you resolve that issue. Also, you, you will have to observe that whenever a planet gets combust, there is a very vital role of Surya, Sun. Sun is an eclipse. An ecliptic Sun bringing planet into combustion is a negative phenomena. It's a phenomena when you are overwhelmed by the negative thoughts. You are overwhelmed by the negative part of the energy, which is going to cascade into almost everything. Now, do not ignore Gemini and Virgo in this scene. Gemini and Virgo are basically the two zodiac sign of Mercury, which are Karl Purush's third and sixth house, which is also called 50% of the Upache houses, which is also responsible for handling the dispute and this retrograde combust mercury may also mean that because of that high focused energy and because you are ignoring anything else you might ignore some crucial things so if you are doing something good for you if you are focused good for you if you are trying to recover your losses good for you but when somebody tells you that hey you are spending more time you are spending way more energy at that one spot and maybe you are ignoring your health or something else Listen to that advice because you will always have to and as a society, we must try to help each other because no one will be able to solve their issue completely during this time. If you see somebody needs help, help them. If you think that something, uh, you know, somebody is trying, if, if your relative, if your, if your friend, if your close friend or family member is doing something wrong, at least try to be in a very polite manner try to explain them and it is your duty to at least take that message in a positive format and don't take it on your ego. And for people who are involved in job, you will see that if Buddh rules your career houses, like if you are, if, if Mercury is your 10th Lord or Mercury is your 11th Lord or Mercury is your 6th Lord, then you will see that you will, you will find it hard to secure a job. You might not get that information. You gave an interview, there is no uh, you know, response coming from their end. Obviously, the entire horoscope plays a bigger role here. But in general, this can frustrate you. If the information will come, it will come with, with another set of, say, interview, half information. It, the information might miss something. There can be a couple of email communication, all to frustrate you, all to create that anxiety. But a combustion also means that you cannot do anything much. You will have to go with the flow. And when you go with the flow, you will feel more relaxed. You will feel more at, more at ease. And uh, for one more area you will have to observe that whenever Mercury is retrograde, the seventh aspect of Mercury will fall on Libra. And Libra has Ketu. So you have to also focus on what is, what is Venus doing? Venus is in the sign of Taurus and soon in the month of May, Venus will go in the sign of Gemini. It will join Mars till 10th of May. So you can understand Venus is also in a very dynamic shape here. That means this Mercury and retrograde and combust Mercury can actually affect your relationships. It can change the meaning of relationships, especially between husband and wife. It can make things, uh, it can, can make you think differently about your spouse. It can make you think differently about people around you. 
So whenever you are thinking differently, you should ensure that you are taking it on a positive note and not on a negative note. Because there will also be Rahu. This retrograde Mercury will then fall back to Rahu. So as Mercury goes closer and closer and closer to the degree of Rahu, the, pre the presence of Rahu, the illusion will build up. And this illusion can make you take certain decisions and you might regret later on. So marriage is one area which will be affected heavily because it is affecting the marriage house of the Kal Purush Kundli. So definitely this is going to affect the marriage and the hope of a lost partner coming back might suddenly increase. Now I'm not saying it is possible or not possible that's upon your chart and the situation you are in, practical situation. But at least this Buddha will try to give in this kind of hope. Now if you're feeling hopeless, if you're feeling restless, if you're feeling that you can't do anything in your life and everything is on the downhill. And when this Mercury retrograde and combust adds another flavor to it, then you have to pray to Bhagavan Ganesh. Chanting Ganesh Mantra Om Gam Ganapate Nama Om Gam Ganapate Nama Om Gam Ganapate Nama Chanting the Gan Ganesh Mantra or any other mantra of Ganesh that you like. Bhagavan Ganesh and Bhagavan Narayana Mantras are going to Reduce the negativity of the mind. Remember, it's all in the mindset when you are thinking about this retrograde Mercury. You might get this eagerness to invest, market falls down. You might get this eagerness to act because according to you, if you don't act now, things will become bad. There's a mistake. One mistake and the entire year is gone. Especially the first week of May when Mars goes in the sign of Cancer, Venus goes in the sign of Gemini, you have to use the Punarvasu energies of Mars, not the negative energies of Rahu. So, don't overreact, don't get triggered, be very sensible in the social media, be very sensible while communicating. If you feel that the other person has not understood you, don't show ego, try to communicate and try to clear up. Try to be very clear and in, in, and, and try to speak in a very crisp and simple sentences. Simple communication will work more than complex communication during this time. And just pray for help, seek shelter and get the blessings of Bhagwan Ganesh and Bhagwan Narayan. Chanting Vishnu Sastra Nam, which I always say to everyone because this is a Nam Jap and Nam Jap is very important in Kali Yuga. Do this and you will be easily coming out from the negative energies of this retrograde and combust Buddha. And lastly, from the perspective of investment, as I said, if it can be postponed, postpone. Be very mindful, not that you cannot invest, obviously there is a market, the, the Lakshmi, the currency, the money will flow. But why are you doing intent of it, the knowledge behind it, the information that you are getting because of which you are taking that action, the theme is the same. If there is an action, you must be very sure of the cause of that action because that information might be not complete. Think about it and pray to Bhagwan Ganesh. We'll meet you in the next video. Please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another, another update. And if you have some suggestions for me, what kind of videos do you want on this channel? I try to make all transit videos. Uh, but if you want me to bring more updates on this channel, short videos, long videos, if you are happy with the duration of the content, all of that, please let me know. And uh, also follow me on my other channel, Sadgamaya, where I upload short and crisp, small videos and on Patreon, where I can speak much more freely. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, Namaste.